<laughs> Hold up, no, I have to. Hold up. <laughs> we don't. We're not good at spelling stuff. Hello, buddy. No, yeah. I <laughs> Hello. Oh. We're, we're back. Delays. Clap. Uh, we here. Philadelphia confusion versus boop and gravy. Blue eyes with privilege. If you're not familiar. Big names. Fantastic people. High skills. Oh yeah. Uh, also, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Confusion does not fit into the name titles in games, so they are currently Phil Confusion. Got him. Also, I'm here now. It's fine. Oh yeah, sorry. I totally forgot. It's been such a long delay. Secure Hades, welcome back. Thanks, man. We found we had a very interesting discussion about uh, how to spell defense. It ha has an S in it, by the way. Not a C. Yeah, it was uh, an extended discussion, which it shouldn't have been. <laughs> it's fun being illiterate. But looking like we got good old Boop and Gravy, our, one of our classic actors of the Opens. Sadly, like, not, if you look at the bracket, there's not many of our usual teams. Wet Lemons, uh, Barricades, Armament, or 200 MG, the usual teams that show up and get pretty decently far in the tournament. Just Boop and Gravy this time, but... Cast of characters, we got all the means right here. It's very true. And you never know with how often teams change their names because it messes us up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I tried, I literally tried and sat down to map out all like individual points as far back as we had records. Like the pedigree? Yeah, and try to try and figure out like, okay, these are seeds for these tournaments. Whenever we go, just re reference the sheet. Gave up about fifteen minutes in because it was so I just couldn't wrap my mind around all these team names and changes. I think, Especially, oh, it's bad. Maybe I'm I think boop, boop and gravy, and at least like since I started casting, boop and gravy and what lemons are like the only teams that have not only kept their name consistent but also their players pretty much consistent. I'm inclined to agree with you, only because I cannot disprove that point. Yeah, I, like obviously each one is probably like stuck out one or two because obviously not everyone can show up every month. But right. For the most part, the teams have been uh, the same. Speaking of which, uh, Gibraltar, Donald. Yeah, and even a Orissa and Hog pick. That's going to be really confusion. Not, I mean, t I mean. They're looking for the big wombo combo here. Pull them in, hook them, stun them, hit them with the grenades from... Mm. from uh, who's that? They're also pretty anti-dive against Boop, yep. who really for. love to run dive. Corn on that uh, good old Winston con zone on the D.Va. Going to be looking to try diving there. The Crest is sneaking. Uh, yeah, sneaking his way through that. Uh, trying to get in the back, and Gravy's obviously there oh. on the tree. Oh. The Crest is going to get spotted oh. out, going to be dashing away. But they've only gotten it underneath. They have to pull back, Donalds. I mean, they definitely dropped at the right time. They're not getting... They're not allowing them to push any farther. It looks like the dive is already coming in hard. Corn though, deleted. Instantly deleted. The Crest also anti. He's going to be losing that battle as well. And just the dive is falling apart. Konzo's out of his mech. There goes Lucio Dave and Don comes I'm gonna get that Ooh. concussion into the headshot and the dive has pretty much stopped again this cop super hard to dive into flashbang hook Arisa pull uh what else they got their junk rats mind and then obviously the anti to keep up from getting healed and sleep dart can't forget about that they're gonna run it and try to run it well and so far they're gonna try and stick with it inside of the boop here Poop and gravy, I should say. Going straight into server room. Going to push and switch right out of the way from his team. Mr. Canada is going to have to back up with that shield. Thrown out that golden defense boy. Keep him alive just a bit longer. But they are just cleaning up here. DPS going crazy. Yeah, and I was actually just about to say um, how Boop was supposed to get this. They just have to pick someone off. If if you looked at the Phil Philadelphia few confusion, sorry. <laughs> uh, they were pretty spread out. You have the Anna in the back room. You kind of have like two, two on the side and one by the cart. Uh, so they just had to pick a side and just instantly dive onto that dive again. Really good at um, dealing with one person. And as long as they can pick someone off in the initial dive, it doesn't matter how much anti dive is, you're still fighting a 5v6. Yeah, I mean, they're going to try and pick just that one person who's barely out of position as Lacrosse going in a little bit too deep. 
And in response to that French guy, gonna come out with a tire hiding behind. Doesn't have much time left on it. He's gotta find something with half, almost half its whole well, quarter of itself gone. Oh. To Nick, <laughs> oh man, feels bad. He was just hanging out, having a good time. Zenyatta is in a nutshell. Feels bad. Sees a tire, you're just like, oh well, I can't do anything about this. Embrace tranquility. Embrace tranquility indeed. And with Nick just a couple percent away. I wonder if he'll be using it in his next push because they got almost five ultimates here on the attacking side. I think Dave with offensive slash defensive sound there. Crust. Going Let's say stuff. this is a s super amount of ultimates here, Dong. As we saw the sound barrier, the dragon blade, the pulse bomb come out, and I mean they're using it to good effect. They managed to get through and get on to the second point, and they still have primal rage and the tranquility going in going on to the third push with five minutes left. Yeah, a good amount of discipline there, not overusing ultimates, um, especially coming into that fight. And I guess the same thing with. Um, same thing with Philly Confusion. I mean, they used Coalescence, but it was a little bit late to the party as a lot of high burst damage came in. Speaking of, Frost is dead. Mm -hmm. Gravy throwing out that Pulse Bomb. Trying to create some space as they're going to make their way around this corner eventually as that payload gets up there. But so far, everyone's sticking to their choices, except for the French guy going off Junk Riot onto some fair action. Taking the, well, I would say no one really had hit scan, but he gets taken down anyway. Yeah, and Corrin popping that problem is really smart because Nyx is just going to be pushing that cart. Actually, no, he's not even on a cart anymore because he has to deal with Switch, but uh, that's how he dealt with. Uh, just pushing that up, Corrin obviously plays, uh, pops primary to gain space so they can just escort this cart pretty uh, safely. He actually got a kill onto the, uh, I think that was French guy, correct? Off of Primal Rage. But now they are just spawn camped. We see the Diva Bomb right on cart to prevent anyone from doing anything, and the Crust popping the Dragon Blade. Now it is just a last ditch effort to protect this point, and that's not going to go. 348, that is a really good time for Boop and Gravy to be working with. Absolutely is. The decision to like very tactically use your ultimates. I don't know if the better way of saying that, but not just spamming like four to a fight and then like really getting a checkpoint out of it. They just used one or two each time they needed it. And mm -hmm. they kept just kind of chaining those every 30, 45 seconds to where whatever uh, Philadelphia Confusion was doing, they had to react with their own ultimates. But nothing really came from Philadelphia Confusion to negate the usage of Boop's ultimates. So. Who knows, maybe they can change the, things up. Because that defense the, strategy didn't really work for them. The thing is, like, I like the strategy they ran. Like, they had a really good anti-dive comp. They just seemed to fall apart. I, think, I don't think they were using their anti-dive tools to the right extent. I don't think we ever saw a whole hog to come out as uh, one of the Boof and Gravies died in. I, Junkrat tire or traps weren't placed in the proper positions to protect teammates or, like, just pr like protect an angle for them coming in. And did Lucio ever ult? Um, uh, I'm. You know what, Philly did confusion. I don't know. I don't think so. I He's like he had eighty. Team. He had eighty-three percent there at the last third point. So I don't. He must have ulted at some point, but maybe during the the second point attack. But I don't think he was using it. So it was either like they didn't have ultimates when they needed to, but that's also just them badly managing their ult economy. Well, it's more about just the absolute mental, like the ferocity coming out from the DPS and the dive, like Gravy and Lacrosse just going straight for those supports, which they're being extremely effective if you're not allowing a hero to get an ultimate all the way up until the end of the game. Yeah. But that was all this game. It's now up to the confusions to move it on again 348 now they can still beat this they just have to have a really good record and seem to be taking a page out of boop and gravy running that dive comp i think the exact same comp actually yeah well it's not i mean basically everyone does it anything with a coordinated team they will most likely do a dive try and get through things and with a sleep coming out early on to he's gonna get back up but so far a bit of standoffish right now no team really coming in to engage but with the payload going underneath Boop and Gravy are going to have to drop down here fairly soon. I mean, but that's Filter pretty in. that's pretty standard for this point. Like, you kind of just, like, poke each other down, maybe get a pick on this first point, but when 
it gets to this like kind of half like when it starts going up the hill you drop down and then that's where the real fighting has, happens as we're saying with boop and gravy getting what three picks already gonna be four here yeah and there's gonna be a lot but so far both annas actually have been noticing hitting a lot of sleep darts i think we've had four or five people slept already in this match and we're just getting yeah. just over a minute i am the first round here telltale sign of good anna how well he hits the sleeps something else to note gravy has his ultimate already yeah he's got it and he got it we'll faster than the tracer yeah which is very interesting but we'll see how he does against a couple shields and defensive matrix for defensive defensive matri maybe no that's not the plural uh matrices question <laughs> mark ah math stuff i don't do that anymore but regardless yeah, the ults are just not looking in favor of uh, confusions. We do see Gravy popping that ultimate. Frost instantly popping Tranquility, and the only other ultimates they have are French Guy's Dragon Blade. Corn's going popping the Primal Rage, and they are just getting all knocked around in this little tight space. Force of Run Away, and that was only two ults for one, but they only had one that, ult. That's fine, that's fine. They still have four in the bank here, and they're feeling very confident in how they're holding the point. And with really a, a, a maybe a nano blade to come in for Big Rig and the French guy, Dave still has his transcendence. So as long as he stays up and stays safe until that moment, Dave should just do fine, unless there's a good anti heal coming out from either Ana in this fight. And that just comes down to the switch getting picked up instantly. Not the best bet. Corn actually oh, oh, oh. getting the nano, and that like. Monkey with a nano is actually pretty scary because he just runs out. You that's an unavoidable damage from the nano boost as well, and I guess the crest also popped Dragon Blade in the back. So yeah, again, apps. Oh, you go down. Divide and conquer there. Corn coming into the front line with that nano boost, and yeah, in the back line, the crust just absolutely cleaning house. And once again, another denied push here. Sixty seconds left, as Overwatch Lady likes to tell us all the time. Mm -hmm. Splitting up in the server room. Got Baby Diva currently. Conzone trying to get his mech back. He'll be there just in time. But currently they're not pushing the payload. They're looking for kills. Well, it's kind of hard. You, it's hard to push the payload when you have a team that can appear to be out diving you on defense. And we do see this flank coming out by the crest and corn in the back onto the supports. Primal Reach going to be up. And again. <laughs> They keep fighting these small close spaces, and it seems like Boop always can outplay them there. They're, they're like... Because the problem with rooms like that is target selection can be super hard, because it's just a lot of stuff happening in a very small space. Especially but, with that Primal Rage, just playing ping pong with them off all the walls, man. Exactly. So, Boop and Gravy have shown that they definitely have better uh, target, at least either communication to call it targets effectively, or just individual skill to keep track of targets there. Let me see the last push right. here, those dongles, and not many ults on either side. Never mind, Gravy has his uh, attack visor. The thing is, Mr. Canada just went down with his Primal Rage. That's a huge ultimate, especially in overtime. But they're just going to keep going through self-destruct, push them off point. And they're going to clean them up with all the rest they have. And a fairly, fairly one-sided fight once again for Boop and Gravy. Uh, friendly reminder, they are pretty much, they pretty much get to the finals almost every open. Yeah, it, it, it's what, usually like a toss up whether wet lemons or boop wins. Wait, I, I think, uh, I feel like there's another team that's gone to the final, at least like last time. I don't know. Name is definitely, uh, where is it called? Name is definitely escaping me now, though. <laughs> well, with one map down, we must move on to the next. As we go into some friendly control. We played Li Zhang on the last round. Let's see what we can pick up this time as Philly Confusion. Gonna choose that map. Philadelphia Fusion, the Owl team, uh, doing quite well. Picking up two wins this week and coming in for a wild or a playoff contention spot in the third place spot i forgot what they're i think it was if gladiators lost three maps in their game i'm not sure what the 
the uh, options were for them to be able to get into. Okay, I'm, I not, I'm not going to lie. I haven't had much, because of school, haven't had much time to follow the, uh, the owl. And uh, because I don't follow that much, Blizzard's uh, entire system for it kind of confuses me. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, watched, I watched a lot in the beginning, but kind of weaned off a bit over the past couple weeks. Uh, I haven't been terrible about keeping up with esports. Like I like leagues having it's a, the finals are going or the playoffs are happening right now. Barely watch some of that. Uh, Owl ha- has been happening. Haven't been able to keep up with that. Hearthstone's been having a ton of uh, HCTs happen recently. Haven't watched any of those. I'm just been busy. Sad life of a college student. Uh, if you ever see a college student leaving Jenner, make sure you donate to him because he's most likely starving. He or she. Sorry, excuse me. Been there, done that. I'm glad I'm out. Fun, fun story. Uh, it snowed the other day in Virginia. It's the uh, first day of spring, by the way. And uh, yeah, I survived off sandwiches because I didn't want to go outside, and it was cold, and I had no groceries. Ugh. It was a fun day, I can say the least. Feels poor, man. Feels college, man. But all right. Going back to Overwatch, Ilya's picked for the control map. By the way, <laughs> coming You're... into many versions of pits, who can be pushed, who can be pulled? Let's see. Depends on what oh. map we get, I guess. We're going to be starting on Lighthouse Ooh, here. Lighthouse, which, even though I've been trying to move away from playing support a lot in my games, I do like to play a good Lucio on this map because just trying to push people out those doors is just too much fun. I mean, Lucio in general on Ilios is super good because on Well, on Lighthouse, if you're playing the Edge of uh, Ruins, that too. Ruins, not, I mean, yeah, Ruins is interesting, but not a lot of people go up near that mega health pack. Yeah. But obviously, because it's just have, super dangerous. Yeah. Then you have Well, of course, the classic, the classic version of a pit. Back to the pit hyperwall. Yeah. But let's see. <gasps> The fabled return of Korn as Reinhardt, perhaps. I'm surprised he's going Reinhardt in the map. We just saw him play a really good Winston, and this map is pretty good for Winston, especially fighting on that point, very enclosed space, hitting like four to five people if you're fighting on point all the time. You can assault the high ground pretty efficiently, but it seems like they're not going for that kind of strategy. I was kind of questioning the Torbjorn, but it looks like they're going to be switching off of that. They're going to be running the McCree and Lucio instead. Round one. And of course, Reinhardt never too far away from Zarya. Just build up that charge all the time here. But Frost running that Mercy. Maybe a fair Mercy combo coming out. Looking for right onto point they go. Switch will be up top, along with Zorch getting some early poke damage. But the rest of the dive coming in, see what they can do. Big rig though. First of all, getting off. Quench is going. Ham Tracer going to go down Zorch. Okay, they just got all picked off as they entered. I think the big mistake there is they didn't really enter as a team. Like, you saw Switch come around the back and he was by offline himself. Big Rig was just in the middle of the map, kind of just unattended. So, and then it was just chain after chain. Big Rick died, Zorch then died, Switch then died. And it was just like, you know, you picked off the wicked, like the most weak, the weakest link, and then you just worked your way up the chain. French guy trying to fly low for a bit as Nick is being quite a nuisance scoping in and shooting her down. So denying a bit of that airspace for the time being, but as they come in, the healing two have to switch over to immediately right in front. Attempted, oh, our shatter coming in. Bad At least shatter. The, the, the flame strike kill onto Big Rig, get that support out of here. And Frost is, and French guy are gonna have to get out of here, but they're dead. Thing is, that wasn't one of Korn's famous uh, 360 shatters, so it did not no. count. Oh, uh, they're so mean. They're so mean. She actually has ultimate back. There she goes. <laughs> they wanted the charge, but in the, in the fun and games, Zorch comes in and ruins it with a Helix rocket. So the crust is down, but they're each down. So it's 5v5. Is this is this their time to push? Uh, but they don't really have any ultimates. A Valkyrie will be coming up. Maybe just burst a lot of healing out there, but let's see what they can do coming in. Mr. Cannon. Yeah. Leading the charge. Out right away. They have to get in. Cannon not going to get in. And Korn going to return the oh. favor. He gets instantly nano. Just going to be chasing as Reinhardt just goes certainly alpha onto each other. We see a Dragon Blade coming up by Lacrust, and it's not answered by anything 
from the support. It's not like they have anything and switch. It's gonna get caught out as the diva trying to kill himself and not gonna have a coin gonna be backing his hammer against his face. Not even allowed to jump off to the sandy beaches below. Well, 100% coming up. Big Greg just gonna just off himself. He couldn't quite get to the point. He tried to do a cool R subreddit Lucio rollout, but instead failed. Holt's coming in too little, too late for Philadelphia. Philadelphia confusion. Boy, that one really gets me. I'm just gonna say Phil confusion. P. Duck confusion. I'm telling you, better name. Probably. <laughs> All right. So going on to well, the every moon south's favorite map. <laughs> back to the pit. Yeah, back to the pit, hyper wall. So. Philadelphia Confusion, looking like they want to switch up their line a lot, actually. I, yeah, they've completely switched up their lineup here. Go back to their uh, Gibraltar composition, except for Zorch yeah. coming in with a Soldier 76. You know, the Boop and Gravy running, actually pretty similar again. You just kind of want, this, is a, this map is completely full of memes. You just want to take advantage of the environmentals. Arissa, Vera, Lucio, Hog, like those are always like core parts of this map. Just too easy oh. to do, and there you go, French guy Back with his boosters not up. Up cooldown, Con Zone is gonna grab the first. Zorch is gonna fall as well, so the rest of Boop and Gravy are gonna try and pounce on this one. But Con oh. Zone goes down as well. The pull from Mr. Canada will grab him into the dark depths below. And looking like good old Philadelphia confusion is going to be going down, and the first point is gonna to go to the Boop and Gravy. I just want to talk a little bit about. Uh, who was a French guy? He tried to use his boosters to aggressively reposition onto the side and get the flank off. But as he was boosting, or as he was coming down from his boosters, Kanza managed to grab him, get into the pit. Not bad, been a little overzealous, if I do say so myself. Lacrust, though, getting hooked and narrowly avoiding death for the time being, as Dave coming in with the mercy to save him. And he has his rocket barrage. He's looking for the opportunity to use it. Flying high near. The entrance of Philadelphia Confusion, but out comes the Fortify from Mr. Canada and his shield. Cole lessons from Frost, looking for anything, anything. Lacrust gets him, but he gets hooked down. Dave trying to go in for maybe a resurrection, but he'll fall as well. Corn and Konzo themselves sticking on point. A, now Narissa himself. Oh, switch actually in the second post. Switch is actually doing a really good uh, job at a hot. It's like, when a fair is positioning aggressively like that, oh, oh Nick. Nick. Don't do my boy dirty like that, but... You gotta yeah, turn like, around. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my gosh. When a fair is aggressively positioned like that, she definitely has her ultimate, and Switch would just stay in the general area so that he could instantly counter that. I mean, Moira was already too low to kind of save, but at least he stopped her from getting like two to three kills. Yeah, and I I really think Philly Confusion could have had that that fight there, but they just didn't turn around and they couldn't get rid of Nick, who was just hiding in the wall, booping people out. He got two environmental kills there, and now they're trying to come back in, but two support ults. Valkyrie is taken, and Lacrust hooked back in. Supercharger up for Corn, and that is a lot of extra damage output. Mr. Canada trying his best. He does get it, but he will fall in the process here. Oh, Kanzo! Oh, no, he gets booped in again. But, uh, Switch not there to stop Lacrosse that time, gets two kills with the Rocket Barrage, going to win the air duel against the fellow Pharah, and it looks like the rest of Boop and Gravy are going to sacrificially kill themselves in the pit for their victory in this round. And what I thought was going to be a good game was a not as good game. <laughs> but still, well fall on either side, the GG is thrown out. Corn. Coming back and start. Uh, oh, this is when we got Nano. I thought it was gonna be his like three-man shatter. Nano Reinhardt, scary thing to face down. Remember when he used to get a speed buff and even more attack, and a damage reduction too? I remember. Fun time. I remember. <laughs> Two environmental kill card. <laughs> <laughs> you get, Boom. Come on, give him the gold. Come on, there's one. There's one person who hasn't voted. Actually, two. Give him the gold. Nah. Rip. No one's any fun. And those two kills came in on well. <laughs> I mean, granted, it did turn around the fight for Boop and Gravy. So maybe it is well-deserved after all.
That wasn't a, that's, Big Rig was on a Philly Fusion. Those are the two he got onto Konzo. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. He, he would always like, the second one was actually super unfortunate because Konzo dodged the, uh, the concussion bomb from Farah. And then, but Big Rig was there on the side. So he just booped him right afterwards. I see. I see. All right. Well, another quick game. And because the other round two game is finished, we can potentially go straight into our next game, round Not three. Not having to wait, PogChamp. Whoa, Smooth Brains coming out. Currently number one seed, change name, and there's a lot of familiar faces that you will see. Swish, the one to lead him off. The captain. Well, the but, bottom side of the market's also finished. Mystery game versus Cloud ha- Cloud's Harem. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few, we had four draft teams, only uh, one, I believe, coming into round two after the rest got knocked out. But on the other side of the bracket, Mystery Gang in Cloud's Harem. I'll have to look at the bra- the people in that team again because, you know, let's change our name. <laughs> All right, but in the meantime, I promise, short break. We'll get people in, ready to go. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're back. Two, two, number one. Ah! 